today I'm showing you my back collection. I'm so excited to show you everything that I own and also I'm going to be unboxing two Louis Vuitton bags. I've never done an unboxing but these are two vintage pieces I want to show you and at the end I'm going to showcase my crappy antiques that I've collected. When I traveled to LA and New York and um, actually you know what when I think about it they're not antiques they're just shitty souvenirs but yeah let's get started and also if you haven't watched my Dubai mansion tour you should um, it's linked below. Okay let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you my shitty designer collection. I have like two bags. I'm gonna show you everything and share little stories to why I have it and why I got it. I think that's the most interesting part. Let's begin. Let me show you this bag. Personally, the only designer collection that I have is from Louis Vuitton only because I love this print and also I like the red interior it has in here. That's it. That's literally why I like Louis Vuitton. Honestly, it's it's a skill to just sit and talk about a shitty bag for like 20 minutes straight. I don't know how a lady does it. Teach me. That's it, folks. I don't know what skin this is. Leather or cow, my ex, God fucking knows. But it's a bag, okay? That's that's the end of the story. The reason I bought this bag, it's from a pre-owned website and I only got it because it's vintage and no one has this bag. I'm one of those dumb nuts who only gets stuff because it's one of a kind. There's only one left. Does anyone like me? Dumb and stupid? Let me know. That's why I like vintage and antique stuff because no one has it. Only I do, so I need to get it. That's the mentality I live in, which is really stupid, but I don't think they produce bags like this anymore. So when I saw it, I got it. This is such an old bag. It has like flaps in it. They have these big, bands that you've never seen before. The best part is the straps. They don't tug into your shoulder and they give these stupid scars and they don't hurt at all and they're so sturdy, so strong. Obviously it's LV so it's durable. Yeah! Okay, let me talk about this bag. <laughs> this is a beauty. It really is, look at that. I do have, what is it, a shapewear that you just put in so that way if you stain your interior, it doesn't get into the bag and your bag is safe. So I got this bag when, <laughs> so stupid. So I told my best friend that the minute I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll have $10,000 in my bank account and I'm gonna go get this bag. Obviously I hit 10,000 subscribers and I did not have 10,000 in my account because YouTube doesn't work like that, but I really wanted to get this bag. So um, I waited for a bit, and small purchases here and there can make a big impact on your finances, so I really wanted to save money. Why is it not focusing, hello? The one time where I saved up a lot of cash and you know I could spend money without it creating a huge dent on my bank account, I could go to the store and get myself this. Now let me just say, it's not my favorite bag, and it's not the most used bag out of all my collection. All my collection being one and two, that's it. The biggest con of it all, having small shitty handles. What the fuck is this, Louis Vuitton? That's it? I, I feel like I have really skinny matchstick hands and I struggle putting it through my hands. How do other people do it? I don't get it. It's so annoying. I like long shoulder bags, so this is a big no-no. For now, I'll have to hold it like this and walk being a little reminder to myself that I have to chase my goals and when I do, I get what I want. That's the only reason this is sitting in my closet, honestly. No use to me at all, you suck, you fat piece of shit. Now this bag, you can see it's creased up, dented, <laughs> left and right like my Nissan car. This is a... Does it have a name in this? Like, <laughs> I don't know what this bag's called. I don't know how Lily does this, to be honest. She knows the name, the color, the model, the wire. I just can't be bothered. Stupid. Any hoosers, no idea what it's called. I'm gonna call it the Big Mambo Jumbo, honey. This is huge. Someone's like, hello, Mason. I'm like, yeah, what? What do you want? What? Yeah, what? I, I can't hear you through all this. So it's a huge bag. Let me just say, this is my favorite bag. I get to carry like, two vlogging cameras, one this huge Canon camera, with the microphone, lighting in it, tripod, and my laptop, my iPad, my iPhone, cables, chargers, everything in it. And this bag still had space to put my skincare in. So let me just say, one of my top favorite purchases. Out of all the three bags, this is my top three bag. <laughs> this is the saddest closet tour ever. I don't feel rich. Okay, we're done, finally. That's it, you dumb nuts. We're done with the three bag review. Do I have everything else to show you? No. But let me just tell you, now we go to the exciting part of the video. This is my favorite bag collection that I have. Look at this. Number one, we have in our list a money bag. I'm gonna start wearing this bag every time YouTube sends me a check. Number two, we have a cereal bag. A cereal bag. <laughs> It has the exact nutrition facts listed here. How attractive. A tiny pack. Kind of regret the word West Coast on it. it kind of tells you you're an LA noob, clearly. Let's play a game, shall we? Let's guess where I bought this from. A, Cartier. B, Chanel. C, Dior. D, Forever Fucking 21. Ding, ding, ding. All of you got it right. Forever, I I don't get why they have okay quality products, let's be honest, but why do they have shit like, I love cats, boys love me, no fucks given. That shit's so fucking cringy. It's not Forever 21, it's Forever 16. Someone who's 22 can never wear this anymore because this is just embarrassing. We will not talk about this in the comment section, but this is a milk bag. A milk bag with 
nutrition facts on the side. Who's the creative director? I just want to speak to him. Our final contestant, we have a sushi bag. Then I have a basic black school bag. This is something I picked up from H&M. Just lately, I've been loving, loving fanny packs. This is the bag that I just got recently. It's from Zara. This is it, kids. That is my bag collection. I think out of all of it, my favorite has to be the fucking studio box. But anyway, that concludes my finished uh, bag closet tour that everyone asked for. We're gonna finally open our two vintage bags that I got from Louis Vuitton. Oh my god, I'm so excited with this. I can see why unboxing are excited. I've never done this before. Okay, so I'm gonna chop it up, guys. So here I have packages from this website where you can buy and sell used luxury items. And I saw two pieces and they were vintage pieces. I couldn't even check reviews on YouTube because nobody had it. It's pretty old and crusty and dusty. I feel like everyone's gonna hate one bag. I know exactly what bag that is. It's not the best looking bag. I'm an Aquarius and we like crazy shit. It's a cute small little bag. Look at me the way I open the bag and Lily's all like. Bitch, I don't have fucking patience. I'm here on this planet for only a few years. I'm just gonna hurry up. <laughs> Ooh, I got a letter. Is it a love letter? Let's dig in, kids. Oh, she's here. <laughs> she's so cute. People are gonna so hate this bag. Oh, it's not coming down. I'm trying to do a dramatic effect here. <laughs> I have a feeling no one's gonna like it. <laughs> Oh, this is so, she is so cute, look. Let me just clear this. Wow, it looks a little bigger than what I envisioned in my head. Let me take this out. And this bag was produced in 2000. I was born in 98. I was a two-year-old baby walking in fucking Huggies Pampers when this was made. Do you ever think about shit like that? Like, that's so mind-blowing to me. 22 years later, I don't know, I can't do math. 20 years later, I have this. Isn't that super crazy? Like, this was meant to be with me babes you were meant to be with me okay let me just show you a close-up look at that isn't this in such great condition for being freaking 20 years old this is what it feels like when you collect antiques and vintage stuff i have something that no one does or maybe like two people on the planet do but this is so cute this is the cutest bag ever it's such an old piece but i feel cool privileged lucky and blessed to be the only one owning this i'm kidding okay i'm sure that some of you who have this bag I love you. Super happy with my purchase. Let me know what you think. You can shred it down whichever you want. Remember, she's listening. She can hear it. She has feelings too, you know? This bag, I feel like a lot of people are gonna love. It's like the new Bella Hadid cute IG baddie bag. Lily saw this bag. She's like, it's ugly. You can never put anything inside. Don't get it. But I got it anyway. So, are you ready? Wow, this is in such good condition. We're both shiny and she doesn't even have highlighter on. This is such a pretty bag, guys. Oh my god. This is my second bag that I got again. This is another vintage bag. Uh, this was made in 2004, so that caught my attention. I love how the bag isn't up too high like that or too low when it's just like pulling your shoulder down. Let me know what you think. I feel like everyone's gonna love this bag because it's like a trend right now, but let me open it up and see what I can fit in. So that's what the interior looks like. Perfect, red, beautiful. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. It's such good condition, right? I feel like Lily has such sharp eyeballs. She's gonna pick on something that I'm not able to see. Let me see if I see something. Hmm. Maybe there's like a little scratchy scratch here. Does that matter? <laughs> I love the magnetic clasp and I absolutely adore how it holds its shape. I thought it would just like, you know, slouch down. Let me show you up close and personnel. Let me know what you think. I feel like everyone's gonna love this bag more than that one. Shoes one, back one or two. I mean, I know the answer is already, but you never know what the public sees. Whenever I travel, I always go around looking for antique stores and if anything captures my heart, I would buy it. So I want to show you what I got. I don't know if somebody ripped me off or I'm just a dumb tourist idiot, but a lot of my white friends and my brown friends and my family members, everyone makes fun of me and they think I'm fucking stupid and I got ripped off. For example, let me show you what I got. <laughs> this is something I got from New York. <laughs> This was um, 50, 40 dollars, I think. Can anyone see that? There's a little mini Jesus on the cross. At the end, it says something really creepy. 
but let me let me read it out it says s25 mar mar i'm assuming march so this is probably made in march but this is so fascinating to me and it's i think it's like a chess piece i don't know what it is so i went to this antique store and i saw this sitting there i'm like why is no one getting this so i went there and i bought it if you think about it that lv bag was 300 dollars. this is 50 dollars. that's the thing with vintage items either they mark it down so low because it's vintage it's old it's dingy dull and useless and gross and used up no one wants it so they sell for a cheap price like that bag or it's vintage so it's unique it's one in a million you will never find something like this ever again so they mark the price up so i came home from my new york trip and i'm like i look at my brother and i'm like bro this is 50 dollars. it's antique it's vintage and i'm telling him all these cool magical stories about this and he's like, you're fucking stupid, you dumb bitch, you got fucking ripped off. Slammed the door on my face and he left. I don't know, maybe I did. So it was the cutest store. I tried to leave the exact name of this antique store down below. But they had the Friends collection. They had the CDs of the first few seasons of Friends when it first released. And it's on DVD, it was VCR. Anyone remember VCR? Hello? I believe it was a true antique store. But that was one of the best stores I went with my friends. My friends thought I was fucking crazy. This dumb bitch flew from Dubai just to come here to an antique store. But we don't have antique stores here. And even if we do, it's never gonna be a one in a million item. There's gonna be 10 of the same products. Really can't label that as antique or vintage. So um, I take my chances when I travel, I get wherever I can. But really, let me know if I got ripped off or not. Okay, this isn't vintage. It's one of those touristy shops, but it says Beverly Hills here. So what I did is I opened up the cork here and I was walking down Beverly Hills, like one of the roads and no one was looking at me so I just bent down and I picked up all the sand that's Beverly Hills sand <laughs> next mm-hmm you you guess right it's a fucking pine cone so when I was young my dad would put up the Christmas tree and we would have the fake decorations you know the fake pine cones and I was like dad what the hell is this and he's like oh it's a pine cone we'll never find it here it's, we have to get fake ornaments so I was like okay and for the first time in 22 years of my life I've seen a pine cone like this is a real the real deal like the real fucking pine cone it's sharp all pokey dokey and I was walking again down fucking Beverly Hills and I saw this I was like oh it's a pine cone I need to show this to my dad oh my god I need to take this how do I take a fucking pine cone from the street without bringing down my dignity and I quickly went down picked it up and I put it in my bag and I ran and it's still the same by the way it's still sturdy and strong and I don't know why it hasn't decayed yet it's still the same and it's sitting in my closet for like eight months now so yeah this is what I do for a living the outside I look like I have six OnlyFans accounts and I strip for a living but guess what I do I go down Beverly Hills and I fucking steal sand and pine cones find a better youtuber I'll wait it's like a Russian doll this was $18 it even says the price here it's like a globe and there are like maps here so beautiful and you open it up you open up the second one and there's a little one in here okay, my last few hours left to catch my flight I was walking by and I saw this and this guy was selling it for five dollars down the street uh, this was from New York and I was like five dollars sweetie this is like a good fifteen dollar thing whatever this is whatever you call it and I paid him like fifteen dollars he's like oh my god like thank you I was like yeah I mean no problem this shit is so trippy like and they're moving I don't know who this horny couple is whoever you are great job being in my picture but um it was really cool and trippy so I bought it my dad once entered my room without glasses he's like who are you kissing in New York and I'm like I'm not kissing anyone in New York and he's like who's that and I'm like dad that's that's not me. He's like, it looks like you. Even my dad thinks I'm white. And I had a friend who told me this amazing tip about how when you go to different cities, when you travel, you want to buy a perfume and only wear that perfume in that city. And when you come back home and you put on the same perfume, it's going to remind you of being in that city. And I thought that was complete bogus hocus. And also, I have a very bad sense of smell. I really can't smell anything. I feel like I have a deviated septum. I can't breathe sometimes. Even in the middle of COVID-19, I was trying to wear these masks and I cannot breathe. I don't wear perfumes, like heavy scented perfumes, because they can be so suffocating to me. My friend Lubaba, uh, her parents they gifted me this um, Calvin Klein perfume let me show you and yes when I spray this on now it smells like I'm in LA right now on my way for my MTV show this is crazy how the human body works how how I just want to know how how does the smell have a connection to the memories in my head can we just think about it isn't that it's so weird it's such an old perfume I still have it it's from Juicy Couture and this is the perfume that I wore first few days in university every day to uni every single day I had this on Sexy for the boys. This is so weird. Oh my god. I feel like I'm in class. See, I don't use this anymore. I haven't touched it in over a year. I graduated a year ago, so this is pretty much useless to me. But but this is just something I want to keep show my kids. Oh, and your mommy used this perfume to be a little slutty in the university. And lastly, this is the perfume that I got. Victor and Rolf Bon Bon. Bon Bon. Got it mainly for how the bottle looks. It's pink duh my favorite color but also the smell is so sexy so i went to new york and and i went to ulta beauty it's just it was just a beautiful feeling it was rainy outside people like running around and i, I didn't get an umbrella obviously and i just got into ulta beauty my bill came up to 400 dollars in ulta beauty 
oh, it smells just like Times Square. Rats and, and hot dog vending machines. So every place that I visit, I get myself one of these snowballs. Look at this, this one changes color. And I got the snowball from LA. And this one is the one that I got from New York. Ooh, this is my favorite bag. How did I not show you this? This says, send new to this camera, like cha-ching. Ooh, lastly, I wanted to show you this. So this is the only item I have my name stamped on here. I love this journal. I have, every, like if I've talked to you, you're in my journal. I have the good, the bad, the lows, what I feel, positive affirmations, manifestations, everything written down in this journal. I doodle some rosies and things that make me happy. I told you I was a huge fan of the Barbies. <laughs> so I bought this when I was freaking 13 and I told myself I'm gonna give this to my love of my life, my husband, 20 years from now. <laughs> this is so stupid. So that he can put it on me <laughs> and lock his love, love that he has for me with this little key. So this is a lock. <laughs> He locks the love for me. Everyone say, aww. I was such a love relationship nut. And I still have it to this day. It's been 10 years since I bought this. Don't know which lucky bastard's gonna get this, but. But yeah, that's the finished video. Follow my Insta at Ansi Twinkle and my Snapchat, my Twitter, my TikTok, everything's at Ansi Twinkle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.